Even when he gets the W, Logan Paul takes an L. My beautiful fiance. Wherever she is. Nowhere to be found. But I know where she is. Back in Dylan Dennis's locker room, conducting a train. But that is not the most disgusting thing she did on this night. No, that happened in round three of this fight. And you missed it. She threw herself on the ground and invited the entire audience to come hump her. Look at this. Disgusting. And for what? Just to increase her body count by 5%. But did this stop Logan from simping? No. The gimp continued the simp backstage. Listen to this. Pathetic. Pathetic. Let me tell you, when Logan does try to get her pregnant, it's going to feel like he's throwing a hot dog down a hallway. But the good news for Nina is, when she goes into labor, it will be quick and painless. That thing is going to fall right out. Shoinks! No resistance. Now Logan Paul did not carry the cringe alone on his shoulders. No, his buddy in cringe crime, KSI, brought the cringe in his post-fight speech. Listen to this. This was one for the ages. How many jobs did he land? How many jobs did you land? How many jabs did you land? Uh, you, you didn't land enough jabs to beat me. This is coming from the guy who brags about knocking somebody out with his elbow in a boxing match. But now apparently, if you don't land enough jabs, you don't deserve to win. Apparently that's the criteria for winning a boxing match. How many jabs did you throw? What an absolute tool. He sounds like such a child because he is. These influencers are just children with too much money and too much attention. And he's not done. He keeps going with this, just continuing to embarrass himself. Listen. You are landing. You are landing. You are landing. Oh my God. What a sore loser. Having said all this, look what happens when Ariel Hawani asks him if he wants a rematch. Check this out. Would you like a rematch? Yes. <laughs> Did that take five minutes? <laughs> Oh my God, he doesn't want to do it again. Do you want a rematch? Would you like a rematch? Yes. <laughs> if he wanted a rematch, he would have answered immediately. Yes, absolutely. I will destroy him. But no, look at this. Look at this. Do you want a rematch? Would you like a rematch? I mean, yes. maybe. If you're so convinced you won, don't you want to run it back and prove to everybody? Pathetic. Now, KSI does make one good point. He does make one good point. And that was about this thing that happened in the fight. Shots to the back of the head. Oh, the amount of times he hit me in the back of the head. Valid point. Tommy Fury was hitting him in the back of the head. And that is nothing to joke about. Shots to the back of the head. It's extremely serious. It's extremely dangerous. Except in this case. They can do no harm because KSI is already a retard. Those punches were harmless. You think with a skull as big as this mongoloid, he would have a big brain, but it's empty in there. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but KSI's skull is actually the warehouse for Prime. That's where all that inventory is building up. They can't move that piss water. He's not done being a baby about his loss though. This was, oh God, this was, this was so sad. Watch this, watch this. This is like when you're, when you're picking up a kid from daycare or something. Right, then you will get the rematch and you'll no, win the rematch. Just, Do you want that I rematch? I don't, I don't. I fucking hate losing, man. We've all been there, my friend. It's all part Ariel, of it. What a loser. You watch this. Watch, well. watch, 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 watch. You said ultimately, even though Tommy Fury won it, it was a loss. He said he was going to knock out. He kicks control the it, screen. Okay, so come on. Pathetic. I have honestly never seen somebody take a loss worse. I've never seen anybody be this big of a sore loser in the combat world. Maybe it's because he comes from playing FIFA all day long. He comes from the soccer world where they're all a bunch of little bitches. But in combat sports, I've never seen anybody take a loss like this. Utterly pathetic. I hope he never fights again. Now, as pathetic as his response to the loss was, it was not as pathetic. It was not as cringy as his walkout. If you didn't see this, Consider yourself lucky, but you're going to see it now. Look at this jackass. Look at this jackass with his glittery mouth guard. This looks like a Make-A-Wish kid who, who's, whose request was, I want to sit in a Lamborghini. I want to sit in a Lamborghini. Look at this. 
Look at this special needs mongoloid getting to sit in a Lamborghini in the passenger side. Because UK, you got it wrong. I don't know who thought this would make for a cool walkout. He just sits in a Lamborghini that is not on. He's just sitting there like some sort of loser, like a broke loser who goes into a Lambo dealership and just wants to sit in the car and, and have his friend take some pics for Instagram. That's, that's how this came off. You know, a few years ago, I went to Motley Crue concert and their entrance was driving onto the stage on Harleys. That was cool. This idiot is sitting in a car that is not even on, but it gets worse. It gets worse. The mongoloid gets out and does a mongoloid face for the ages. Look at this. Look at this mongoloid face. Zoom in on that. Right there. Watch this. Frame by frame. Mongolation in slow-mo. Look at this. The Make-A-Wish kid got out of the Lambo and doesn't know what to do with himself. Oh my god, let's watch this in real time. I believe it is. Oh my god, and as bad as the tarred face was, it gets worse. Care of this jackass right here with the microphone. Because the only thing more cringe than influencer boxing is UK rap. Ugh. Ugh. And the perfect backdrop is the prime Lamborghini. How can you make a Lamborghini look gay? Put a prime logo on it. And then KSI is just dancing here for what seems like an hour. That's, that is how long this guy was rapping. He went through his entire catalog. He did five albums worth of UK rap. I vomited twice during this. The worst walk, walk out I've ever seen in my life. It, it was. Oh my God, listen to this trash. Ugh. People listen to this? Verbal vomit, dude. But let's talk about the fights. I didn't want to cover this. I had a lot of comments last night coming in on my other videos saying, can't wait for you to talk about the fights. Didn't want to do it because they were so lame. Since KSI is on the screen, let's talk about his fight. Did he get robbed? The only people who got robbed were the people who paid for the pay-per-view. And the rest of us got robbed of our time. The entire fight was this. Let me show you what the entire fight was. This clip right here is all you need to know if you missed the fight. That was the entire fight. It was KSI shooting into the clinch and holding on for dear life. He did that over and over and over every round, the entire fight. That is all he did. He darted in for safety. Now, don't let that make you think that I'm giving Tommy Fury a pass. He was trash. He does not deserve the Fury name. Listen, if somebody does the same thing over and over in a boxing match, and that is jump at you 100,000 times. You would think if you were a pro boxer, you could time one of those and hit them with a right, with an uppercut, hell, with a jab. When you have the force of somebody throwing themselves at you, even a stiff jab will knock that guy on his ass. But he couldn't time it once. He couldn't get that timing down once for the entire fight. They were both garbage and the real losers was the audience trash absolute trash that's all i gotta say about that fight which leaves us with the logan paul fight logan dylan dennis well i tell you this was better than the ksi fight which is not saying anything anyways the entire fight was this that's it it was it was dennis with a high guard and logan punching his forearms that was the fight that was the fight. Logan looked like an amateur fighting his first fight. And Dennis looked like he was, he put on boxing gloves for the first time in his life. Dylan Dennis, he really let down us who are sheep disguised as sheep. He didn't do anything. There was a couple times where he had his high guard. And then after Logan threw a few punches, he swung and he connected. He would catch Logan when he was disengaging. But other than that, he seemed just afraid to throw afraid to bring down the guard. He had just talked so much trash that he did not want to end up a meme. He didn't, he didn't want to end up one of those YouTube videos titled, When Talking Trash Goes Wrong. That's, that's what he was afraid of. But I'm telling you, if he had just thrown more, he would have had a chance. I'm not saying he would have won, okay? But if he had thrown more, made this into a war, and just gotten beaten bloody, walked out with an absolutely swollen face, he would have won some fans. He would have won some fans. He would have at least kept the fans he won 
in this buildup, okay? But he fought scared. He really missed an opportunity here because I don't think anybody will ever want to see him in one of these gong show boxing matches again. So I hope he got paid well. I hope the lawsuit doesn't take too much of it because I think that's it for him. And I think this ruined a lot of people's expectations of him getting into MMA after this, getting back into MMA. It kind of ruined <laughs> the momentum he had there. He should have just had a dogfight, gotten beaten up, gotten into war. And if he got knocked out then, I don't think he would have been a meme. Yes, if he just got knocked out right away, yeah, meme. But if he got into a war and then, you know, round five, he got knocked out. I, I don't think anybody other than the 12-year-old Logan fans could have made fun of him for that. But at the end of the day, I think Logan still had more damage on his face after that mic hit. When, when the makeup started getting worn off from the corner in between rounds and the water and the ice, he, man, he had a shiner from that shot. That, that was the best shot of this entire thing was the microphone hit. So... I guess you got that, Dennis. Otherwise, oh my God, can this be the last? Can this please be the last influencer boxing event? Dear God, please. It is trash. I felt dirty when this was over. I felt like I'd been playing video games all day long and eating candy. That kind of sick feeling. In fact, I went and watched some UFC right after this and I just felt cleansed. And it really reminded me how good mixed martial arts at a high level is compared to this trash. Of course, in my future videos, when I just cover the UFC, I'm gonna get like four views. Apparently guys, you just wanna see me talk about this mongoloid. So, I guess that's the end of my channel.